Hello, lovely one. Well, this month marks 20 years since I set up my own business and became self-employed. And I thought I would just share over the next few days some of the things that I learned along the way that might be helpful to you. And I'm going to take us right back to the beginning when I had established what it is I wanted to do. I was still working for a group of hotels, and which I loved. I absolutely loved the people I worked with. I loved the industry. It's all I'd ever known, actually. And I'd worked my way up to being in the position I'd always dreamt of. But when I came to resign, I had trained in my own time to be a clinical hypnotherapist, an NLP practitioner and a coach, a business coach and a life coach. And um, the MD, who was our new MD, said, will you stay part time? And then that'll help you get your business on its feet, which ordinarily for most people, that would be a brilliant idea and one that would be very welcomed because it serves somebody, but it removes some of the risk. It helps you keep your confidence in the thing that's familiar and it helps you build up gently what it is that you want to do. However, for me, it was dis- it would have been disastrous because I know what I would have done. I would have worked full time for a part time expectation and that extra that I would be doing, which is actually the norm in hospitality. If you're in hospitality, you know what I'm talking about, would have served the purpose of procrastination, keeping me safe and a really good reason not to be doing all the actions or the activity in the self-employed area. It had kept me in my comfort zone and really what I needed for me to be successful is I have to play full out, all in. And if I am not doing that, then I can end up staying in this safety net. So I had to say, no, I've got to go for it fully and see what is possible if I put everything I've got into it. And I'm very grateful I did because that generous offer could have meant that I'd still be there now. Um, which would have been lovely, but it wouldn't have opened the doors of possibility, of growth, of me living some of the, um, you know, some of the things I'm doing now, I could never have dreamt was possible for me 20 years ago. And so taking the leap and being all in has um, repaid me more than I could ever have imagined. You know, only last Thursday, I was taking a group of women over fire where they were breaking arrows, you know, where they were having a transformational experience that they're so proud of. There's posts all over social media of them saying how proud they are of themselves and, um, you know, because they stepped through their fear. And that same fear shows up for us, whether it's um, leaving a job, setting up our own business, leaving a relationship, um, going to night school, starting a new relationship, moving house. The fire is a um, metaphor for for our life. So I get to do great things like that. Next week, I'm speaking at a big entrepreneurs uh, conference where people are setting up their own business. I get get to speak on a stage about belief and how it shapes our reality. I mean, what's possible and what I get to do now is incredible, but not without its fear. I'm not saying that I find it like a piece of cake to go and do. Of course, I'll be nervous inside, but I'll know that for me, being playing full out and being all in is the best success model for me. Anyway, I digress slightly, but I um, I just hope that this in some way speaks to you or you can relate to it or it's just the right message at the right time for you. Have a great day.